We're coming off the 2012 Olympics and amazing games. Lots of firsts, lots of world records. Women competing from countries that have never sent women before. First time athletes winning medals. Just a fantastic display of what these athletes do. Their hard work, their heart and soul, their dreams, their goals, their aspirations out there on that Olympic field competing for their countries. These men and women are amazing. Well, then why is the language describing the men and the women so different? Now, I don't think this is an Olympic competition, an Olympic committee issue. I think it has to do with the way the people around the Olympics, the sportscasters, the, the news media outlets, the entertainment side of the Olympics. The language used for the men and the women was so different. For the women, it was often minimizing. For instance, I heard one swimmer referred to as a good little swimmer. I heard another track winner referred to as the one that walked down the aisle twice as the bridesmaid, and this time she walked down as the bride. I heard them talk about Olympic athletes' weight, about their shoe size, about their performance wear. Come on, does this have a place in the Olympics? Does this have any place at all in these games? Women and men are competing for the same honor, for the same reasons, for the same glory, the same goals, the same aspirations as they are Men and women are competing at the same level. So why not treat them with equal language? After all, I really don't think it would go over well if the sportscasters started talking about the men's performance wear and how big or small they looked in it. What do you think? Does this language have a place in these games? I'd love to hear your thoughts, love to hear what you have to say, and I hope to see you next time on the next Woman Raw.